Welcome, Collider fans, to the Walking Dead recap show. We are back to cover the mid-season finale. And as you notice, we're all kind of dressed as Tyrese because we knew it was going to be a crazy one. So we came ready to fight. I is brought that the hammer. Like a, I, I, we have no idea we why we came up with Tyrese, a character that's long been dead. Well, because well, we, there's one person on this panel that really wants to prove that he could be Tyrese. That's and me. I'm not going to lie. That's me. The you Latin look, Tyrese. You look crazy legit. Thank you. Yeah. So. Hashtag Latin Tyrese. <laughs> Latin Tyrese. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm John Roca, And as always, I'm joined by my three amazing co-hosts. Let's uh, meet them all before we get going on the episode, because there's so much to talk about. To my left. Hey, guys. What's up? I'm Quinn Marie. I'm pretty excited. Mid-season finale. Also, two words. Mustache parm. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. To my right. Hey everyone, I'm Corey Takei. I am so excited and we've got a very special treat in store for you in just a couple seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and to the far right, the wild man. <laughs> the wild hey man. Guys, uh, have you noticed my mustache is <laughs> off my face <laughs> and in a jar. There it is. <laughs> about to go on a piece of chicken parm. <laughs> Thank you, Glenn, for living. <laughs> After I eat, I will argue a little bit about uh, just I, the research I did via dumpster. Yeah. Okay. okay. To figure it out. But right now, um, because I appreciate you guys and uh, listen, everybody in this table agreed that w when this is all over, uh, because I did it, they're all going to donate ten dollars to my Movember campaign. Go True. to mobro.co co yes. slash Josh McCuga to donate. Only a couple more days left in Movember. Tomorrow would be the last day, but I shaved it off because I love you guys <laughs> and and because I did the oh, bet. God. This oh God! Oh, 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 no. oh, no. That's a lot. On the chicken parm. Oh, that's oh, real. Man. This that is, is so that's real. A this is not the Talking Dead, ladies and gentlemen. This is not the <laughs> nope. Talking Dead. We do this kind of stuff here. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Oh. You got this, dude. You've got this. Lift it up for the pants. Lift it up for the pants. That, that has oh. a lot Get of hair on it, guys. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yay, Glenn. Oh. Glenn lives. Glenn lives. Glenn lives. Glenn lives. Glenn lives. Oh, you guys. Oh, it's okay. Oh, no. We need to. <laughs> that's a lot of. That's actually a pretty decent chicken pie. Not bad. You still got your half. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. That was good. That was. Yeah. That was. That uh, was good. Well, I'm gonna have some of my non-mustache chicken parm right? here. Yeah, you would, oh. right? Just to spite me. It's um, so good, Josh. You're let missing me, out. Let me just. Uh, so last week, uh, one of our Twitter fans, one of the fans of the show, yeah. sent me a picture of an average dumpster. Yes. And he did the measurements. An average dumpster is six feet long mm -hmm. by four feet wide and eight inches high. Yep. Now, inches I tried high. to shove myself under the dumpster at my apartment building. Was that safe and healthy? No. Absolutely not. But I had an extremely difficult time fitting under the dumpster. Now, I'm fat? No. Am I skinny? Eh, I'm somewhere in the middle. Are you I'm Glenn size, though? Who knows what Glenn size is? I think Glenn size is petite. He's very small. Okay. He's a petite guy. My girlfriend is very petite. True. I tried to shove her under the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't go, but we both agreed that there's no way that Glenn could slide under on his back. And turn around. And turn around underneath <laughs> as he would. I and agree. somehow tuck his legs around and get to the... Yeah. Just saying... It's a little plot hole, but I still ate mustache and <laughs> right. And I think I have a piece of mustache in my teeth. Oh, no, no, no. God, dude. That's and gross. You, and you didn't even get saved because Glenn didn't even uh, like live. I mean, Glenn didn't even die tonight. No. So, I mean, you, we might have let you off the hook if Glenn had died tonight because yep. it was kind of a connected mm -hmm. situation. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, that did not happen. I'm, so also, I'm also a little curious what the YouTube comments will be because half of them pertain to your mustache. Yeah. yeah. So now that it's gone. Yeah. 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 Hopefully. They'll it'll be, be kinder now. It'll just be like Walking Dead stuff. Yes. Like right, right. So. Yeah. God forbid. Well, what's I'm next? here, guys. God forbid. All right. So anyway, let's get into the season finale. Yes. You know how the show works. We talk about what we like. We talk about what we didn't like. We answer some Twitter questions. If you want to send some in uh, as we're going. But I mean, it's not live, but you can still send some in and we'll, <laughs> we'll see if we can answer them on whenever we come back next year. But make sure you put the hashtag <laughs> Collider Walking Dead. And uh, we love to answer your questions. So yes. um, let's start with what we liked and what we didn't like. Uh, Quinn, do you want to yes, start? Yes, I would. Okay, go ahead. Um, what I liked, uh, you know, shout out to Deanna. Yes. Uh, really liked her this whole season. Um, oh, so what I liked a lot. <laughs> He's eating while you're talking. Oh, I'm, I'm, talking I'm listening here. to what no, she's kidding. saying. You um, what you I really liked, <laughs> I know, uh, what I really liked was uh, her interaction with with Rick before because we were wondering we talked about this last time if Rick was going to kind of like turn you know he was very like my people your people we're yeah. not the same um, and she kind of like you know told him at the end like they're all your people so I I did like that I thought that was uh, I I think that's what's going to save him from from being the antagonist that we think he could possibly turn uh -huh. into so I was uh -huh. very happy to see that interaction. 
What else? One was, of the it, was, it, was that the only thing you liked? No, I like. I mean, I liked. I liked a lot of okay. it. Okay, you just want to um, stress that for now. Yeah, that, okay. that's just one. That's one main thing. I mean, I, I think we should discuss the yeah. Deanna Rick thing or just the Deanna thing. Like that was. That's kind of a crazy. Oh, I love that. Right. I mean, that thing was, yeah, that was kind of a crazy. I, I, it saved yeah. her from being kind of obnoxious in the beginning of this particular <laughs> season to just making sense. And mm -hmm. now we understand her reasoning with the map and yeah. Michonne and her relationship. It was sad. Every time you see Michonne kind of having some emotion, you, you know that this character is important. So, yeah, um, it was kind of sad to see her on her deathbed. No uh, I, I will say, though, and uh, maybe it's. I, 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 we're not in that situation, but it seems yeah. like her and Michonne got really close really quick. I mean, yeah. from the time that they got to Alexandria to the to where we are right now, it's yeah. only about two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's it's been really quick. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, like a lot of people have pointed out to us in the YouTube comments, so thank you, and and on Twitter that the from the beginning of this season until right now has only been forty eight hours. True. Uh -huh. Twenty four hours. Whatever. It's only been about I, a day. Well, day I, and a half. I question that because I did hear that as well, but. No, it's been a few days. When Glenn's under the, the dumpster, the sun goes... I think it's been like a yeah. couple ...down and then comes back up again. Yeah. It hasn't been a long amount of time. It hasn't no, been no, no, a long amount no, no, of time no, no, no. at all. You're legitimate. legitimate yeah. I, think, yeah. I think feelings and relationships are just accelerated because of the situation. Definitely. Yes. I think yeah. it's absolutely right. Definitely. It's just It just becomes more... and It becomes more important to mm -hmm. save. It felt like the whole episode was about community. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like figuring out who belongs in the community, who doesn't, yep. who can function, who can not function. Yep. Um, which was ironic because we didn't get Sasha... Um, Abraham or Daryl coming back, I, which yeah. we expected. We all right. expected. I was this. banking on them coming it to save. It was yeah. saved for Into the Badlands. Yeah, right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> which we, which yeah. we got, which, got to, which just sounds like people. I didn't watch it because I was writing the recap, the yeah. description. But it just sounded like somebody washing silverware. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's There's a lot of sword yes. play. Yeah. Uh, Gary, what else did you like about the show? Um, I, I liked about this particular episode was um, no, I forgot. Well, <laughs> I, oh, yes, now I remember. Um, <laughs> A couple yeah. things, but did you eat the mustache? <laughs> I know. Well, is it toxic? It might be. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I first of all, I, I wanted to give props to the musical score. I oh, really yeah. noticed mm -hmm. how how much I liked the music in yeah. this particular um, episode in this mid season finale. Um, it, it had a lot of punch to it. But yeah. I also my takeaway, my favorite part of this episode was even though it was not as heightened and as action packed as I would have liked a mid season finale to be, and it didn't have such a big cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. I liked that. The action sequences that were involved in it. Yeah, those are the ones that that was like my big highlight yeah. of this particular episode. When there were moments when I thought people that were really important could die. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Carol. I thought she might die. Carol sure. Morgan, Morgan thing is very, yeah. very that, tense. That yeah. thing that. was really intense. And then you know, the wolf. He, he. Yeah. I thought he was gonna kill the doctor. I don't know how many people he care about still. that. Woman, right, but, right. Yeah. You know, and, and also and Ron and uh, Ron and oh, Carl. Ron and Carl. Yeah. So there yeah. was a lot of possibilities of death, and there was action, a lot of zombies. Every time you see a lot of walkers going in there. Yeah. And this is the most we've ever seen. Yeah. 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 It yeah. gets really exciting for us as yeah. viewers to yeah. yeah. see how they get away with it. So I really appreciated that. Josh, what would you like? You know, I, I, I'm i really with you on the the score. I noticed when at the beginning of the episode when the tower comes down and when yeah. it's just silent, and then all we hear is like, ah, 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 <laughs> and they yeah. come just bowling through, right? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty awesome scene. Um, I think my favorite part of the episode by far was the Ron and Carl interaction in the garage mm -hmm. because um, not only was we were all expecting something crazy to happen, yeah. like somebody was going to get shot, Carl yep. was going to get shot, a lot of people were talking about it in the comments and stuff like that. There was an unbelievable amount of tension in there. I, 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 Obviously, we don't like Ron, so Ron screwed the whole thing up and the, the, he let the walkers in the house yeah. by yeah. being an idiot. Yeah. Uh, but Carl... <laughs> Excuse me. I've all, I've, you know, I, this is like Laurel on Arrow. I've always been, I don't like <laughs> Coral that much, right? And Coral, when he was talking to that dude in the garage, he was kind of badass. Yeah, he was. I kind of yeah. liked him. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit getting more and more on Team Carl in the last two episodes. Yeah, yeah. I was to say, particularly yeah. this episode and the previous episode, yep. he stepped up. I'm, his I'm, game. With, I'm, I'm, I'm with Team Carl, right? Yeah, now. yeah, I agree with that completely. I he, mean, he, either that or Ron sucks so much ass that. That's yeah. the thing. That is the thing. Yeah. <laughs> He well, wasn't making the situation well said, any Corey. better. Yeah. <laughs> like Ron sucks so much ass, guys. <laughs> but Ron, I think but Ron has to be, right? I mean, to help the storyline go along, Ron has to be an asshole, an True. idiot. He has to make these mistakes. He has to like, Well, you're dead, I'm dead. We're all dead, and now you're dead. You don't have to do all this crap because yeah. whatever kids go through when they go, like his only that whole family is. I was gonna say, can we so talk about levels. can we talk about Ron and Sam and yeah. how they're terrible I'm kids? So yeah, they're the worst kids ever. Yeah, I mean, they, Sam is a basket case, and then Ron is, kid is constantly terrible. like doesn't know whether to shoot Carl 
or try to be with Enid or kill uh, Rick. Rick. He's, he's just all over the place. I mean, he's a mess. Yeah. I, I, he's been through a lot. His father's right. dead. His uh it's like they're stepbrothers, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. He, they have compared that to what Carl's been through, he hasn't been through anything. His dad died because his dad was, I didn't say it, I, I, apparently he was an asshole. That's what yeah, Carl says, I don't a, know. Yeah. But uh, I, compared to what the rest of them have been through, the people in Alexandria have not been through. Yeah. As but for much. Them, like they're freaking out yeah. now and they can't handle it. Because yeah. that's all they, they know. Is yeah. yeah. A little bit of craziness is really intense for them. Yeah. It, it's almost yeah. like a reverse Hamlet because, you know, you have... Oh, the, here comes well, Shakespeare. Well, I'm no, I'm Shakespeare yeah. Roca. <laughs> Hold on, let me put on my Bill, spectacles. Bill Shakespeare no, over here. Yeah, yeah, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, because, like, it, uh, his mother ends up with the guy who killed his father. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. like, well, you know, you could see that anger. I mean, That's they're not thing. related, obviously, but there's that anger that can come there and cause yeah. him to get all freaked out. And But True. still, Carl, to his credit, which, which I really loved that this show did, was he did what Rick would do. Mm -hmm. yeah. What was a smarter move to keep everybody together? It's not to sell out Ron to his mom and to Rick, yep. where that could cause it's problems. Not the time. Right, yeah. it could cause problems between uh, Rick and Jesse. Right, like in their burgeoning mm -hmm. romance, you know, True. it could cause problems. So he didn't do that, but he took his moment to confront him and was like, "Give me the damn gun," and that's it. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so it was good and to try. Like, and and Ron tried with like the Chaz Palminteri moment in. Uh, Bronx Tale. Yeah. And he's like, now you can't leave. And he locks the door yeah. to the thing. <laughs> you just can't yeah, right. Leave. Yeah. And he and he and Carl are about to have that fight. And I'm like, oh God. Come on. And but they I thought that we were gonna see some awesome Carl action. Yeah. I was I would have really liked to see Carl kind of pummel that dude's face. Yeah. I don't know how much damage can two 14 year olds do. Like oh, they're man. both like I knocked 90 out a dude's pounds. teeth in the I don't, I don't know. I don't want to say fight, Columbine, yeah. but like, that's when you go right through puberty. If so they're you're together, like together this. Stuff. I mean, if they're together, uh, damage can happen. Absolutely. Because they don't have the a lot of times they don't have those receptors to understand what they're doing. Kids are reckless. Yeah, kids That's why they're scary. Reckless. Yeah, yep. exactly. It's yep. true. Um, what I like the way they did, uh, what I liked about the show in that whole scene is they kind of fucked with the fans yeah. by having uh, Ron turn the gun towards Carl's eye. Yeah. yeah. And people were like, oh, we all, Here we all comes were the like, eye. oh, yeah. he's good. This is where he gets shots because yeah. those of us who read comics know that that happens at some point with Carl. Right. Who knows if it's going to happen ever now because yeah. that was the moment. No, I was kidding. Spoiler. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ruined uh, it. Um, what else? Is there anything else you liked, uh, Josh? Um... I think that what they did really well in this episode yeah. was they gave us a lot of cliffhangers, mm -hmm. but it wasn't the, the cliffhangers where we were like, oh, I thought we hit. It was perfect. Right. I thought they were every, What does that even I don't mean? Know. <laughs> like, oh, I can't believe they did that. They should have done that. No. Deanna's <laughs> dead. Right? Deanna's dead. Spoiler alert. She's about to be dead. Yeah. Um, yeah she you know, uh, we needed a major death in this, yeah. and we got one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that that Daryl, Sasha, and, and Abraham, that they were going to make it back clean. I was hoping they would. I yeah. was hoping they'd drive totally that fuel truck that. Right. straight through uh -huh. walkers. Yep. But um, you knew, I, I, it's unfortunate that they didn't, but now we, we the band is breaking up again. Yeah. And we it's like the Terminus kind of season. It's mid-season mid finale. They're going to have to get somewhere. And I love that that exodus scene of them leaving the house with the meat blankets yeah. on them is was awesome the score like you said mm -hmm. they're walking through and it's it's slow motion and right. that's creepy kid that hasn't washed his hair and <laughs> goddamn sam like, mom. If, mom. listen i'm gonna mom. i'm saying something to the writers of the walking dead here we go wherever here we parents go. get your kids a freaking haircut okay <laughs> you're talking about it in the kitchen carl has an awful one ron has an awful one and sam is that his name sam. Well, to be, sam. he's an awful haircut you're all awful haircut kids well to yeah. be fair josh if this has only happened in a few days there has been time to cut his hair because all this stuff's been going yeah, on but and then they've the had way, a time way before to cut the kids that's hair. you're right you're right something's that's a wrong good point. there something's yes. wrong there i have a question about the whole sam sorry thing. I yelled. sure <laughs> sorry. sorry for yelling <laughs> They prefaced this kid to be so creepy and so weird. Yeah. And he looked so sickly. And I, there was a few times I was like, he killed Deanna. He killed Judith. Like, I was just mm -hmm. sure he was going to, like, murder yeah. somebody or do something. And I'm wondering if it's because uh, at the end when he's yelling for his mom, like a yeah. dummy. Yeah. That we won't feel bad when he takes a bite to the neck. Yeah, right. Which is inevitably I going mean, to happen, actually, right? Actually, um, that was in one of my negatives with this kid because at least give us a reason why he's being so creepy. Why did they spend or so much time on his creepiness? Of a reason yeah. why yeah, yeah. he's so creepy? Exactly, dude. Well, I don't feel the same oh. way. No, I just want to jump on the stuff that I liked, and then we'll jump into. Oh yeah, it. We'll oh, jump yeah. Into oh yeah, oh yeah, nobody Sorry. cares Sorry. about Sorry. you. Yeah, me. Sorry. Okay. Let's get back I'm to you. Sorry about that. Staring at this mustache. <laughs> the man with the hammer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the finish. mustache chicken. You're gonna finish that by the oh, end of the yeah, episode. Sure, definitely. <laughs>
<laughs> no, guys. No, I love the I love the the idea of the tiptoe through the tulips because if you've seen Insidious, that kind of puts you in that mindset. Mm -hmm. So you know, some weird stuff was going to go down, and then having the ants, very symbolic of the ants, yeah. just like the zombies. I think we all mentioned that as we were seeing it. That was you a know, really cool scene. Yeah, yeah, cutting out the cookies, was, which that was, was that the yeah. sweet safe spot. Mm -hmm. Boom, it's all gone. Um, I enjoyed the Maggie escape. That was awesome. Yeah, that was really well done. And was... I think there was about three or four instances where you really thought it was possible that she was going to die. Yeah. And I know people had said, "Wouldn't that be the greatest twist ever if Glenn gets saved and then Maggie gets was, killed before be, Glenn got oh, to us?" Oh, that'd be so hard. That, right? right? Yeah. yeah. That would be. That was one of those like <gasps> moments. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> she did it. God, God. yeah. <laughs> I thought the Deanna death. I mean, Toba Felcha. It's a shame that she has to leave the show. What a way to go out. Yeah, I mean, agreed. what a way to go out as Deanna. Like, you get your goodbyes to everybody, and then you get to fight to the end and scream your warrior scream. And this is a woman of age, right? To yeah. see that is so powerful. I love that. Yeah. She didn't go out just dying on the bed and shooting herself. Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm going to take some of these bastards out, and then I'm going to take myself out. So I Definitely. love that. So hopefully she gets nominated for an Emmy, because I thought she was great on the whole yeah. season. I, was, she was I, good. I did. She was good. And it was good. And then I liked the uh, the scene with uh, Eugene and Rosita and Tara, where they were talking about earning the place. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought that was a really nice scene uh, yeah. with all three of them talking about. And then Eugene was a little picklock. You know, the, he surprises you every couple Proving of episodes. Proving to be useful. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He randomly proves to be useful when he really should have been killed quite yeah. a long time ago. Yeah. So Agreed. that scene was a nice scene. And uh, I don't know what the word, him reading the world history, I don't know what that means, but it might come into play later down the history road. History repeats itself? Yeah. Or, <laughs> or, or maybe he's just a big fan of World War One. okay? And he wanted How to do you know he was history? reading World War One? Because you caught, it was midway through the book. <laughs> <laughs> Good point, Josh. I'm sorry. I apologize. So wise, this one. I apologize. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Apparently, the first 2,000 years were only half, <laughs> and then the rest 300 were. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> okay, so let's start talking about what we didn't like about the show, uh, Carrie, since she's I mean, brought up. Yeah, I'm sorry. I hopped it a little too no, soon. No, no. Yeah, I was, I was talking about Sam. I didn't like that they didn't give us even just a, an inkling of why he's so messed up. And it also... Yeah. The things that his mom would say it was just pretend you're brave. Yeah. Pretend you're this. It just feels so disempowering. And I just felt like it wasn't the right path to give this child who's already a mess. But I mean, obviously, yeah. there's a, probably a reason why he is the way he is. Something's going to happen with this kid. He's going to do something Someone's weird. Gonna oh, yeah. Quit sucking. Yeah. He sucks. That's what yeah. the mom should say. Yeah. My mom would have smacked me in the side of the head with a wooden spoon and been like, buck up. We got zombies at the door. Let's stand out. Just alive. Him, like, just, yeah. just pretend that you're actually kind of cool, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, and also, one thing that really also bothered me was, I feel like the wolf could have been taken down a couple of times, Oh, you my know? gosh, yeah. That's uh, on my list, too. He managed yeah. to take away yeah. the doctor, but we had Rosita, who's yeah. a decent aim. Or yeah. We said, yeah, annoying. Rosita's a good shot. Like, she yeah. could have easily. It's, yeah, that was frustrating as stuff. hell. Yeah. That was I, just come every on. time he moved the gun away from her was a time to rush, mm -hmm. was a time for her to yeah. push him against the yeah. door and it's then three on one. Yeah, yeah, it's three four on one. Yeah. Yeah. If she but as soon as she moved right. the doctor away, it's four right. on yeah. one, you know? He like he like opens a door, she could have just like yep. you know, I don't yep. know. Yep. Yep. Did, did we like wait, we should talk this real quick before we just did we like the Carol Morgan? Can fight. No. Okay, so this this is all my I, I mean, didn't like either. So yeah, I mean, let's roll into it. I liked it as I understand that it's probably a reason. There's reasoning behind it because there's tension between Carol and Morgan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I I just wish it didn't have to happen. Is what I mean. Yeah. I didn't yeah. like it. Okay. Does that make sense? Uh. <laughs> Josh, what didn't you like about the show? <laughs> He's like, she don't make sense. Well, let me. I, <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I, okay, listen. Not everybody can be a stone cold killer in the show because it would be all one note. It would just be Jessica Jones. Your palm's okay. getting cold, by the way. No, I see. It. <laughs> He's doing on purpose. So, um, I hate this storyline. I really don't like it. Which one? Uh, Morgan. Carroll. Okay, okay. I really don't like it at all. I'm, I'm piggybacking off Corey's because everything else I really liked in the episode, okay. besides the creepy kid. But nobody should like that guy. Right. He's, he's a douche. So, <laughs> um, poor kid's a douche. So, it. I hated that fight scene. I hate when a bad person in any action movie or show is holding the person here and there's people that are from me to Quinn mm -hmm. in a scene yeah. that have a gun and have been shooting Who zombies for yeah. months. Who are yeah. skilled with a yeah. gun, yeah. And don't just go, crack, crack, crack. Yeah. You know who would have done that, oh, Rick? Like Rosita. Rick, Rick without the Abraham, yeah. Sasha, yeah. Yeah. Daryl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rosita could have shot him when he Rosita said it. Rosita could have shot him. Yeah. Done, yeah. it's yeah. over. And the fact as soon that, as he's talking, that Morgan is like, 
Morgan is Mr. Hapkido or Aikido? Aikido. 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 Sorry. Thanks, I Cody. did it for the Japanese out there. Of course you did. Shout out. <laughs> um, Shout out. <laughs> Aikido. Uh, he's he's Mr. Aware of everything. He's been training. He's got his sword. He's got his, his piper, his, his stick everywhere, whatever sure. you want to call it. Darth Plague is his staff. Yeah, yeah. Darth Plague is his staff. <laughs> he, he, Carol can somehow fight him. Yeah. Uh, and Carol has just been fighting with Rick. She hasn't been in a dojo with the Cobra Kai, okay? <laughs> she has been just fighting zombies. So Morgan, who's been practicing Aikido, and, and they can't do it, then all of a sudden, they are fighting on the ground, and they, he gets cracked by the wolf. He yeah. By know. his own weapon. Yeah. 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 He should know where that weapon yeah. is. He yeah. should know. I just didn't yep. like that scene. Yeah. I, I have that written in my notes. Sam and Morgan tied for who blows the most ass this episode. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I, I bl Like, wow. Ron, too. Like, I don't like it when... And it's the I don't in real life these situations you don't have time to fix people yeah. Yeah. right like that dude and I don't even get me started up the wolf guy like he's crazy yeah and yeah. the fact that he didn't kill the doctor yeah. he's so quick to they were all so quick to chop up people mm -hmm. without right. asking any questions like well, he picked waiting. up a gun and yeah. didn't kill any of the three people when when what and we're saying this is a 24-hour period yeah 24 hours ago he was just like ready and willing to go people, like to yeah. butcher anybody at any time and he didn't kill anybody and he just takes the doctor hostage yeah, yeah. i didn't believe that i didn't yeah. like that and i don't like that whole i don't like the morgan like i'm gonna save him thing yeah it's, it, it's not realistic to me it's it's not working within the framework of no. the show Correct. it seems yeah. like it. they're no. not making like it's not i mean obviously all, all of us love the show so what we're saying is we're just saying like this doesn't work in the realm and in the uh, world that you've created in the yeah. show morgan there's no way morgan would keep going with this. At yeah. some point, you have to put the brakes yeah. on this crap. Yeah. I hate that feeling where it's like, so many times you're like, I told you so, so yeah. hard in yeah. like your heart with these people, yeah. like with Morgan and with Ron, it's like you wanna shake them. You just wanna shake them and be like, dude, I told you, like yeah. I told yeah. you this mm -hmm. was gonna happen. Like, And at no point has he been proven right. Like Carol None. seems no. to be right every single time mm -hmm. in this situation. Mm -hmm. That wolf hit him over the head, then took the knife, and I agree with you. There's no reason he shouldn't have killed all three of them immediately. Yep. Yep. And as they're, he's talking, They're incapacitated. Yeah. And she's she's kind of helpless, and like when she yeah. did the whole thing, that's no. it. Knife in the throat, go down, kill the two, and you're out. Yeah. And yeah. it's irrelevant. You don't have What's to take anybody hostage. What's he taking her hostage? out there for? Into a sea of in the sea of walkers? Right. Exactly. Right. Right. No. Maybe because he right. thought she can heal him or something because he's wounded. I mean, she nah. did try to. Well, and what's right. even worse is as Morgan's sticking up for him, he's like interjecting with, "I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. I'm yeah. probably gonna kill all you guys." Yeah. Like yeah. he's not like showing any signs of of any kind of like recovery or, right. or change of heart. Yeah, and maybe so. this maybe this happened this way in the comic books, this whole thing. Maybe, but like maybe but we totally we're know. reviewing the show. Yeah, not, not the comic book. The comics. So yeah. I mean we have to focus on what happens in the show. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's what uh, to you know that's what I thought in that moment is like, well maybe that's the way it happens yeah. in the comic books. Really quickly, but it didn't seem believable. The yeah. only thing I think might happen, the reason why he's taking her is so they can kind of show us as you yeah. know uh people watching the show. Um what happens when you when yeah. you how to become a wolf right. like what happens to right. you, what they do to you so they can kind of like show like if she gets brainwashed or something yeah. like that like i think she's going to come back as a wolf that mm -hmm. makes sense yep. but another thing that really bothers me is there's a crap ton of walkers out there yeah, yeah. how is he going to make it through yeah. right uh, that's true that's if he makes it through without a kind of explanation it's it's gonna be a plot hole for me. Yeah, and what you were saying, Josh, earlier, they're walking okay. in yeah. the meat curtain with the meat curtains on yeah. or whatever they're wear wearing, and they're walking through the walkers, and they see the amount of walkers yeah. that they're yeah. there. They're like, you're like, wow, the hell are they gonna make it through all this? And meanwhile, homie just has a knife to her, and she's not gonna scream or cause attention or mm -hmm. do whatever. Come on, yeah, it doesn't seem believable. And let's ease up on the clutch with meat curtains. Oh, well, uh, I mean, you know, meat mean. blankets, meat blankets. I'm sorry, meat go. blankets. Meat sheets. I apologize. Meat, 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 meat sheets. sheets. Meat sheets. Meat sheets. Hey, hey, <laughs> hashtag meat sheets. Yeah, hashtag meat sheets. <laughs> Uh, the it. one last thing I didn't like about the episode was that Carol sat the fight, the whole fight out. Like I love Carol to death, and having her stuck with a concussion, and then yeah. having her in a useless yep. fight with Morgan, yep. really bothered me. Yep. Yeah. I love seeing that's her one kick of the ass. main things is when like the really like diehard fighters get in on it. Yeah, when Michonne showed yeah, up, I was like, she yeah, she's gonna kick ass. But at least we had Michonne and Rick in one room, so that yeah. was awesome. Yeah, that was cool. That was what awesome. did you guys think about the end scene through in the end of the Badlands first sequence? Where Sasha Abraham and uh, Daryl run into what we uh, assume well, are the saviors. I gotta say, uh, well, the the ending. And Megan gets mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Megan. The, yeah. Megan. Um, the, uh, the ending of this midseason finale was just a little lackluster because okay. there was not much of a cliffhanger. However, if you sit through one segment of Badlands, you get to get the cliffhanger with the mention yeah. of Megan yeah. um, and his crew, his stopping people's. the crew. 
so that was kind of cool. which is kind of a, which is kind of a little bit of a you know kind of a workaround by AMC to make people watch into the Badlands, yeah. which I didn't necessarily appreciate. They've been then, doing that. Yeah, yeah. all right, because they're making they, us stay the first the break segment. of Badlands. Da, 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 yeah. Honey, it's on. You get yeah. something. Yeah. 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 You, you get something. Yeah. What do you What do you think about it? Um, uh, I was I was disappointed. Oh. I, I mean, no, I was disappointed when I saw them get stopped. I was like, oh no, because uh, I was so hopeful that they were going to save uh, the rest of Alexandria. Mm, right. Um. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. I, yeah. I don't. I'm, I'm, they have to have these weapons. They have to be able to use these weapons. They wouldn't go through so much to get these like dope ass weapons to have them taken away before they even get back to, to Alexandria. Right. So I am curious to see if and how they get out of this. Yeah. Yes. We've, what we, and we've talked about this, what they've always done on this show is it's, it's like, oh, this seems like it, everything's going to be okay for like 10 minutes. Yeah. And then, nope, you're going to run into <laughs> Negan's crew. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, well, yeah. also, what, what happened to everyone else? Like, where's Tobin? Where where Maggie Maggie's still stuck on that platform right. up there? It was nice How that Glenn get her got out? to see Maggie. Yeah, he yeah. got yeah. to see. That was yeah. that was a little bit of a yeah, that was closure. a nice little moment, right? And that yeah. moment with, with the scene with him and Enid, that little dialogue back mm -hmm. and forth. Mm -hmm. So it seems like Enid's not part of the wolves now, and this is something that people we had thought about that was that a she might be that you know part of this. Yeah. So. She's just, I don't know how, but she must have an incredible resolution to be able to just leave in the middle of that attack randomly and go out into the woods. Right. So, you know, mm -hmm. more power to her. She just, she knows how to survive. Yep. Yeah. All right. So uh, as always, we like to get your Twitter questions. We're at that segment in the show. Mm -hmm. So when you send questions, please always include the hashtag Collider Walking Dead, as you see there. And we will select one of your questions to talk about on the show, which we enjoy doing. Kari, will you please read... Uh, all right, question. I will read the first question. This question is brought to you by Michael Lyles. Everybody is finding the will to live. They all become Rick's group. Would Rick kill Ron if he hurt slash killed Carl? Oh, oh, yeah, without a doubt. Okay. Are you Quinn, kidding? If Ron kills Carl, Ron's so dead. Like, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, but I, I, I think that... Um, his uh, two reasons for living is Carl and Judith. And right. from season one, we knew that, you know, Carl was his everything, well, yeah. and his wife as well. But now after his wife passed, it's obviously Carl is his reason to live, yeah. to mm -hmm. be strong, to be a leader, to show uh, Carl what a man is. So if anything happens to this baby boy, whoever Dunzo. happened that, yeah. peace out. Yeah. I'm going to be the the flip side of this um because usually i would 100 percent agree with you uh, and <laughs> it doesn't have to do with jesse it really doesn't okay what i think it is is i think rick has like a ceiling or a floor at this point of age he would kill yeah and i don't think he would kill ron even if he killed carol uh carl yeah. <laughs> <laughs> coral 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 um, what i what I, I i do think though is uh coral kill carol <laughs> coral kill carol <laughs> 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 So, uh, but I do think he's like a little too young and Jesse would be there like, you can't kill him. He's just whatever. Right. Yeah. Um, it, it would be one of those moments that none of us would like in the show because yeah. really he should kill him. But I think <laughs> there's, there's one part of Sheriff Rick Grimes still left in there yeah. mm -hmm. and he's not going to kill a 14 year old boy. In so, yeah. And I, I agree with you, Josh. And, so, and in some weird way, I think the most unkillable person is Carl. Because yep. if you kill Carl, you kill Rick's reason for being there. Judith hasn't developed enough of a relationship with Rick yet, I don't mm -hmm. think, for it to be like supreme as important as Carl. Yeah. It's a firstborn right. son. Yeah. It's man to man. There's a stronger connection there for now. Judith, once she can speak and do whatever, like obviously he loves his baby. I'm not saying he doesn't love his baby. I'm just saying there's more years built in well, with Carl. I, you I, know? I mean, the question was hurt or kill. Yeah, hurt. Okay, well, if he hurts him, he's not going to kill Ron, I don't he think. He hurts him, But man. he would, oh. yeah, I think there'd be a, a reckoning. Yeah. 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 Okay, next question. Deano asks... My question is, do you think we will ever find out how this virus or whatever is ever started? Hmm. Uh, you can go first. Sure. Uh, <laughs> like the medicine behind I, it? I don't think we'll ever find out because mm -mm. Kirkman has made it very clear that this was the premise of the books, therefore the premise of the series, which is that it's a world of zombies. There's no way out. There's no way to cure yeah. it. You just have to learn to live with it. And it's about turning the spotlight on human nature mm -hmm. and how we interact in situations like this yeah. if it was extended out as a lifestyle. A, you know, you, uh, so I don't, think, I don't think we'll ever find out. I think people will believe that they can find it, a cure or whatever, but I, think we'll, I don't think we'll ever. Cause I don't if you think cure it would, it, a, the it would add to the show yeah. in yeah. any way. The, yeah. If you can cure yeah. zombies, the show's done yeah. eventually. Well, good right. point. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And also, don't, didn't they? What what season is it? The first or the second season where they go to they that facility? Yeah, yeah. 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 It gets blown up season. or whatever. Yeah. So it's yeah. kind of 
Atlanta. talked about and they and then they discover that even if you die you still become a walker or right. whatever so it's been like touched on where they're kind of questioning it but i, right. I don't think that they need to delve any deeper into it because yeah i don't think it helps the yeah. show i yeah i think cra uh, crazy enough um sure as viewers we're, we are kind of curious yeah, about sure. uh, having finding a cure, but we are so focused on survival rather than um, a cure that I don't think it's going to pop up anytime. Yeah, exactly. John, no, yeah, I I'm, I'm with you guys. Uh, I think I have part of my yeah. I think I have chicken part mustache. <laughs> um, I uh, I I'm interested, and in, I always think about that. Is they never really hit on the medicine of you know if blood gets in their eyeballs yeah. or in their mouth if they don't get the virus and mm -hmm. why the virus stopped and not everybody got the virus obviously yeah. there's probably genes and stuff like that just because I like that science of certain things I like to yeah. know it but I don't think it has any place in the show at this point right mm -hmm. now yeah. what it does what it all it is is an obstacle yeah exactly and, um, and I would think they would have addressed that in Fear the Walking Dead instead yeah, I was just going to bring that up yeah, yeah that they, they didn't touch that and the cheat is that even if they do find out, I bet they could like really mess with us. And two seasons from now, find out how it happened, yeah. and then like stuff happens, and they for and they lose the the possibility of the antidote, or they lose the the chemical thing that occurred. Yeah. And so that's their way of messing with you. So oh. it, it's certainly possible. Or they can do something crazy as a non comic book reader, uh, and do something like where there's someone that's defied it then they're just gonna test the person oh yeah they do sure. that a lot no. we'd have to yeah. use yeah. a doctor at that point uh, not or you, you guys can tune into my podcast weapons of the walking dead where i pitch <laughs> ideas yeah. i have for cool weapons <laughs> <laughs> all right guys all right what's the next one final question final lemon question. grab ren aren't you guys getting tired of all the filler and stretching out of storylines lately josh <laughs> I, I will say this season That's... has been the least like that since season well, I mean, obviously Three? the freaking farm was so long, yeah. but um, yeah, I I have really have never been on board with people saying the seasons are too long, the episodes are mm -hmm. too slow, right. except for maybe a couple here or there. Uh, obviously, Terminus, like all the people splitting off and getting Terminus, I didn't love that, but I saw the purpose in it. Um, but the, I thought this season was action packed yeah. sans the Morgan episode, right? Mm -hmm. um, and a little part of that the more episode right after Morgan, but this eight episode swing here yeah. at this fall has been super action packed. You kidding me? Yeah. The last two episodes are incredible. Yeah. 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 And, I, and I don't think they're stretching out anything. I think what they're doing is laying the groundwork for stuff that keeps coming back as right. we progress through the exactly. show. And so I you're agree. right. It's action packed. And people who think it's slow, I don't understand because it's slow to build up to the action. That's logical. You, you're not going to have a diehard movie break out in the middle of this. Like it's you, you've got eight episodes, eight hours of programming. Mm -hmm. So you've got to lay groundwork for these relationships exactly. so that when they, they pay off later on down the line, it makes yeah. sense to you. And yeah. these are like pivotal like stories, like the ones yeah. that they're building up. The, this mid-season finale, yeah. the the wolf, that yeah. was a crazy story. Like we were all wondering what was going to happen with that. Yeah. Glenn and Maggie, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Abraham and Sasha and Daryl. Like these are like big big like storyline so yeah. you need proper build up i think right there. yeah i think i think the pacing i can see why it's a little slow in terms of lack of enough action but mm -hmm. there was a lot of character development and there's also a lot of characters i even thought the morgan episode was good yeah. I, oh yeah it, it, i like morgan the morgan because I, I didn't like morgan um and then i liked him again and now i'm not no, so no. sure anymore <laughs> but i mean that's that that i think that that it was a well-paced half season and especially uh, with the Glenn death, yeah. that definitely kept us on our toes. So no, I, I'm I'm not tired of it. I think it's it's fine. Yeah. What were we gonna say, George? Oh, nothing. I was just envisioning <laughs> my cool weapons ideas. Oh. <laughs> Always about self promotion. <laughs> I love Makuga, damn it. Uh, all right. Well, that's that's. I think we've covered everything we need to cover yeah. on the show. Yeah. Uh, I just want to go around the table real quick and ask you guys: Is there something that you want to see in the in the uh, new season, or the, I guess the new half season next mm -hmm. year? Uh, that would be like that would be stoke you. I would make you guys get stoked for. I as cheese as ball as it is. I can't wait for Maggie and Glenn to be together again, yeah. or even for her to have Aww. her child. You da -da 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 -da. are a romantic at heart. So at heart. That can't deep, be denied. Deep down, deep down, deep down the once you get through <laughs> all the walls and defenses, <laughs> there's a gooey <laughs> center. She's got <laughs> caramel <laughs> nougat <laughs> inside. <laughs> What do I? I um, what do I want to see? I don't know, dude. Like, yeah, I want to. I'm curious. I, before they start with the what are they, the saviors? Yeah. Before they start that, I need to know what's going on with the wolves. I know I've brought it up a million times, but I need to know what's happening. Yeah. Um. So there's three. I mean, there's three different groups of non-walkers. Then then we need to know about yeah. like. So I'm I'm looking forward to that. 
is a threat. I need to know. What the hell's so goddamn funny over there? Uh, you, I need to know. <laughs> um, no, I, uh, I'm really looking forward to Negan because yeah. my, I loved the governor. Not like I, not like him. Actually, I love that season though. I love yeah. Woodbury yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. That, was, that was super, super mm-hmm. cool. So I'm looking forward to seeing what Negan, is he like Dennis Hopper in Waterworld and he's yeah. controlling this gang of marauders and he owns everything? Yeah. Um, I, I'm super excited about that and uh, Rick sort of finally meeting his match almost, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like an all out war. Yeah. yeah. A lot of things to excited I, for. I think you're absolutely right. I, I, that was going to be my answer. Like, I'm looking forward to see how this plays out, that storyline with the Saviors. Because I think this is the first time they've cast someone that can really go toe to toe with Rick yeah. as a villain. Mm-hmm. And uh, the governor was okay, but eventually everyone saw through him and on, on all the message boards mm-hmm. and people were commenting, like, uh, he's not that intimidating or he's not that, yeah. you know, scary. Yeah. But uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan is such a good, like, if you've seen Jeffrey him. Jeffrey Dean Morgan is dope. Yeah, like, I've seen him in White Watchmen or whatever. Like, he can play those parts so yeah. well. So it'll be fun to see. Danny Duquette, great what he did. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Let's see what he does John with it. John Winchester? The... <laughs> <laughs> right, John Winchester. So it'll be fun to see what he does with it. And, and I, I'm looking forward to that. And I want to see what happens with Michonne. I want to see how this plays out, what Deanna has told her, which is, what do you want? Mm-hmm. What do you want? And so I want to see how that plays out as she goes on. That was your Gosling from Notebook. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I just want to remember you again. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Spoiler. Uh, all right, well, that's our show. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and for commenting uh, and for tweeting at us. We love it. We love to read this stuff. Uh, let's go around the table. Tell everybody where they can find you. Uh, Quinn. Um, you can find me on Twitter, at Quinn Marie underscore. We can, still, we can still tweet about it, guys, even though it's not on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I'm sad about the hiatus, but I'm looking very forward to uh, the show's return. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm so sad that we won't be here for a little bit, but you can follow me everywhere at K-A-O-R-I-O-U-S. That's a lot of vowels. Yes, yes, yes. And how do people say your name correctly? Uh, Correctly. In Japanese, it's Kaori. Kaori. So if they see you on the streets, they go, Kaori. Kaori. No, they say Kori. Like, sure. It's like like a a version of coral. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Coral, Carol, Kori. Kori's mad. The coral killed Carol. (laughs) Josh. Uh, yeah, at Josh McCougar on Twitter and Instagram, you guys, I've shaved off my mustache and put it on this lovely chicken farm <laughs> uh, because I lost a bet. I also uh, grew it out all month for November, and you guys have, you can donate uh, to mobro.co slash Josh McCougar. Uh, we only have one more day of November, really. And uh, you can see me here on the Arrow uh, recap show as well as the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. recap show. And I'm really going to miss you guys because I, I really know. enjoy Sunday nights with you. with you guys. <laughs> in February 2016. We'll be back. <laughs> Apparently, is that what it is? February 2016? Yeah. yeah. Apparently, oh, uh, right. you're, you're not the only romantic on the show there. This is getting <laughs> all around. I can shed uh, a deer in every day. I can cry, man. Do you want me to give you a little tune while you say goodbye? <laughs> uh, I want to thank you. You can always follow me uh, at The Roca Says. I want to give a big shout out to Makuga for, for sticking to his word yes. and eating that must. That is not easy. Those are yeah, legitimately yeah. his whiskers on that chicken <laughs> bar. So mad love to you, man, for doing that. You're the wild man for a reason. I shave my mustache into a jar. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to shout out to your girlfriend who helped you do that? <laughs> yeah, Amanda, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, you can find me there at the Roca Says. Uh, I also ho- uh, am one of the hosts on the Flash Recap Show here as well. Uh, and uh, I guess, yeah, we'll see you all new in the new year. And we'll keep talking about the show that we love so much. Thanks for joining us. Yeah.